So you might be asking, why do I need a home energy monitoring system? All I need to do is look at my electric bill once a month and count the number of units and I know how many kilowatt hours I've used in the month. Well, that is true. However, if you'd like a little bit more information as to when energy is being used and maybe you want to have information about what devices are using the most energy, then an energy monitoring system is for you. So I recently purchased online two smart energy meters for my home. Why two, you might be asking? Well, I have an electric car and that is by far the biggest user of electricity in my house. So I wanted to record the total energy consumed by the house, but also have a separate smart meter on my electric car usage. And then I could compare the two. So how does it work? It's a simple box that is powered by a USB cable and it has what looks like a clamp meter which goes over the cable that you want to monitor. And the information is then displayed on an app. The energy monitoring system that I purchased was from a company called Momo Space and it allows you to get real-time information as well as recording historical data for up to three years and exporting that information in an Excel file format. The company provides a number of different meters, but I purchased the one that just recorded the amount of electricity I was using, the number of kilowatts, the voltage and the ampage. At about 10 o'clock this morning, the app for my inverters told me that the solar system had charged my batteries and it was time to charge my car. This is my MG HS plug-in hybrid and I'm just about to start charging the car. You can see I have the wall charger here and I have the app on my phone which is currently saying that the the battery is zero percent what I'm really interested in is how much power is going into the car so here we are at the inverters I have three inverters connected to three lithium batteries and although the inverters are paralleled, so they work together as a team, you can see this one is set as the host. And then we have slave one, and then we have slave two. And at the moment, it is saying that we've got 98% on the batteries and uh, 700 watts coming in. Now you might think that's a bit low and certainly looking outside, uh, that is low, but this is the, it's just recording the amount of solar that is actually being used by the house. Uh, so you can see the this, uh, 300 watts going into the house on this inverter. And 900 watts coming in, 400, so all it's saying is the amount of solar that's being used by the house. So 98% and 670 usable watts. So basically, batteries are full. I'm using very little power from the house. So uh, now would be a very good time to charge my batteries. So the inverters give us good information about how much power is going into the house. That's the global amount of power that my house uses. I would like to be able to split out what the house uses and what my electric car uses. Unfortunately, the inverter cannot tell me which devices in my house are using the power. So I have two monospace tracking devices. Uh, there's one here which attaches 
to the connection to my car charger and there is another one here which takes the output to the house including the car so what that allows me to do is allows me to look at the total usage but also to separate what the car is using because the car is an electric car it uses more power than my house uses so it's the biggest device and I'd like to know how much power it uses so let's have a look at the app here here's the app on my phone and you can see that currently the house is using a thousand watts and if I was to choose another device and look at my electric car the electric car is using 1.7 watts because I haven't switched it on yet so let's see what happens to the app when I switch it on okay so here we have the app saying that the plug-in hybrid is using two watts and let's switch on the breakers please use card or eight hello welcome to use mg charging wall box so the mg charging wall box requires uh authorization it needs a authentication card to stop somebody parking their EV in front of my house and stealing my electricity uh, but because I have quite a bit of security at the house including a couple of noisy dogs uh, I just leave the card uh, close by successful authorization charging on this so it's already saying a thousand watts going in 1700 so we'll come back to this in a minute and see if uh, the power ramps up or well, you can see it's actually ramping up as we speak says there's 10 amps going in now 2000 watts so what about the MG app uh, see the button here is uh, lighted up green and let's click on that it says that it is charged 1% so far um, 9 amps coming in so more or less the same um, as the Momo space. Okay, so let's just have a look at the house data now. Click on the house. And you can see that the house is now saying that it's using uh, four and a half or 4.5 kilowatts, 4,500 watts. So the house usage has, has come up quite a bit. Back at the inverters, uh, we can see that there's 1.45, 1 1.5 kilowatts on this inverter, and the solar has picked up to uh, 1.5 kilowatts, basically to match match the demand. So the solar is there, but uh, it's being effectively cut curtailed. Any excess solar is not recorded. And on the second inverter, 1.4 and 1.4 of solar coming in. Third inverter, 1.5 kilowatts going into the, to the house. That's the house in total, including the car, uh, and uh, two kilowatts coming in from solar. So it's useful to have information. Uh, the inverters could give us quite a bit and there's information on the app as well. But the advantage of using this Momo space boxes is it allows me to split out my two main uses, the house 
and out to the car and uh, it seems to be working quite well so uh, not expensive and uh, it basically uses a clamp system to to recognize the amount of current that's going out